them basically in the morning. I'm gonna get up and run over here to Restaurant Depot. And uh, yeah, get unloaded. I don't know what I'm what I'm dispatched for. <clears throat> Man, this will not go away. <clears throat> Whatever I got, it will not go away. <sighs> Can I talk now? All right. Yeah, we're gonna run over there and uh, get unloaded. And I'm already losing it again. All right. So we're gonna run over there and get unloaded. I don't know what I'm dispatched for after that. Hopefully they got something that I can just go and grab and I'm not sitting again till tomorrow to get loaded or tonight. Uh, because that's what sucks about the way, I guess Tyson dispatches their loads to my carrier or whatnot. If you don't, if you don't have something, you know, if you're not ready to go by a certain time, you, you basically get skipped over and you have to wait till the next day. So that's the only thing that sucks. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of the reasons why I'm thinking about just getting my authority uh, and, and starting it back up again, just so I can, I don't know, pull something or do something, a power only, or maybe I'll even get my own trailer, I don't know. Um, just so I have something to do in between times like this when you know uh, I'm skipped over I guess you could say but let me uh, let me finish getting ready I'm probably gonna get some fuel here so I don't have to pay to stay here because I think you have to pay the damn guard if you don't get fuel and um, yeah let's get out of here oh, alright let's get out of here or attempt to get out of here Actually, let's pull over and get some fuel. If, if the fuel island isn't packed, which it probably is, but. We shall find out. I was parked in the middle of the road here. Well, either a lot of guys already left or Bordentown did not get as full as it usually does. At least what I'm used to Bordentown being. I'm used to this being like a clown circus and um, not even able to like drive around in here without people being parked all over the place. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go get fuel so I don't have to pay for freaking pay for parking here and uh yeah we'll uh we'll see you on the road here in a second you good all right thanks man all right well apparently i don't even need to receipt here <laughs> thought i did he just looked, he, he just, I know he took money or something off Western Express, but <laughs> he didn't take nothing off me. That's fine by that. He just looked at the truck and then let me go. <sighs> All right, well, we're gonna get out here and uh, we're gonna get on 295 here, which is pretty much the New Jersey slash Pennsylvania uh, turnpike, I guess. And I don't know, I'm gonna follow that down either Route 1 or into Bristol, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. Come on, automatic. I don't like just being sitting in the middle of the road there. Yardley New Hope. Yep. Used to live right down there below them in Morrisville. Here we go. We're going to pass over into Pennsylvania now on 295. This bridge used to be free, but now it's a toll bridge. Pretty much crossing over the Delaware River. We got, uh, what? 
like nine miles to go and we'll be where we gotta be. Man, look at all those uh, cameras in there. They used to have a way, well I mean they still do, they have a way station here, but I bet you they opened it a lot more than they used to. <laughs> now that they did all that work on the bridge and stuff, they gotta make their money back. Besides the tolls that they added to it. You know, I don't mind doing stuff like this, like this run. Uh, you know, it's fairly easy for me. I just wish I could have got it all done in one day uh, because making it a layover, uh, it's it, it pretty much screws me. Like I should have been, I should have been done and picking up a load like earlier this morning, not delivering you know the rest of this load. And now I gotta wonder. You know, am I gonna am I gonna sit all day today? Are they gonna have something for me today, or are they gonna make me wait until tomorrow tomorrow night? I I don't know. I don't know. See, I end up getting a good week, and and then I'll it'll be preceded by weeks that aren't stellar. And then you know, if I get something like this. Where I only work like three days out of the week, um, <laughs> you know, it kind of defeats the purpose of having a good week. Well, yeah, uh, you know, I profit. Let's see, let's see. I profit like. Speed. Yeah, yeah. I profit like what 30, 3300 or thirty four hundred dollars out of the good week, maybe four thousand, and then I have. You know, three weeks to follow it up where I'm only making um, like a thousand bucks, if that. Plus, you gotta pay for taxes on top of all that. So, I don't know. Like I said before, I, I probably shouldn't complain. There's guys doing a lot worse than me. Um, it's just, I don't know, it just gets, it gets old fast. But, alright, enough of that uh, nonsense, I guess. We'll just uh, we'll make our way over here, and uh, I'll see you when I'm pulling in the parking lot there, the Restaurant Depot. I don't know about where you live, but here's what they did over here. They put these stupid-ass billboards in. They got one on this intersection, and then there's another big intersection by the mall. They put a huge one in. It's like 15 feet tall or something like that, or 20 feet tall. And I don't know why they did it. It just makes the place look tacky and... I don't know, kind of, kind of like, uh, you know, no one cares. I'd rather have like a nice statue there or a mural or something. I don't know, something other than a stupid billboard for advertisements. I tell you what, like shit's getting so weird anymore. All right, well, we're here now again. And, uh, yep. Uh, looks like there's already somebody there. I was hoping I'd be the very first one there, but it doesn't matter anyway. They say they don't open, unlock the door there until, uh, until 7 a.m. I don't know. I'm kicking myself in the butt. Maybe I should have parked here anyway. I said screw it. But, I don't know. As you can see right there is the warning sign. Cash only. It is what it is, I guess. <clears throat> we'll pull right up next to him, I guess. And I guess we'll wait here until, until 7 a.m. Maybe I could have parked over there with all these trucks. I have no idea how they get away with, with, with it. Somebody must be paying some money for something over there. I, I don't know how the township allows that to go on. Somebody must have cut a deal and allowed them to have their own little truck parking spot there because I would imagine those houses right there probably have a shit fit about it. Well, I don't know. I guess uh, I'll wait a little bit and then I'll go in. 
We'll see if they don't let me in early. So, oh, here we go. I'm gonna walk in here. I'm gonna show you all the crap that's on the door from last night. So, you know, overnight parking opens up at seven, all that good crap. So, what's funny is the Roberts. Restaurant Depot, the one in Philly, was a lot nicer in the back room and cleaner and well organized than this one. And this one is huge, this place. And it's like a joke in there. So I don't know. It's it's kind of funny how you know places can be so different. One place will be real organized, even though you wouldn't think in the city it would be. Then you get out to the suburbs and uh they're very disorganized and it's total chaos. This guy, you look, you see that? That's his port window. That whole side of his truck is full of trash. <laughs> like, like, geez, empty it out once in a while. So I get to sit here now and uh, wait for a phone call. She said it's gonna be a while because they have, well, I guess they have their normal vendors. I don't know how these guys are able to check in before 7, but they are. Uh, their normal vendors are getting unloaded right now. And in the meantime, she said, uh, we'll probably be here about, eh, waiting about an hour, she said. So, uh, yeah, whatever. I was here on time, so I, I get detention. So, if they want to uh, have me wait here all day, I guess they can have me wait here all day. So, I'm going to... Uh, probably shoot back there and try to edit some of this video because I got countless clips I gotta I gotta stop doing that I end up recording everything when I do a vlog I record so much crap that I have like a hundred minutes of video and then I go to edit and I'm wondering why it's taking so long and why my videos are like an hour long and I need to stop doing that so let me uh let me hop off here and get the laptop opened up and start editing because I got plenty of it, that's for sure. Um, we're going to go into door four here as I'm being blinded to death. So we're going to turn and do one giant circle. It's trying to go over five mile an hour here so I don't knock myself off sleeper berth. So I can at least get my two hour break in. And if I'm right, and I should be right in front of door four. Pretty damn close. Let's put the windows down so I can actually see through all the spray that's all over the windows. Nice thing about backing up here in a big empty parking lot is you don't have to worry about anybody just driving behind you randomly. Usually. I shouldn't say not all the time, but. All right, let's go open the doors up. Let's see if that pallet fell, those two pallets fell over, which I'm pretty sure they probably did. Would not surprise me one bit. Oh wow, they didn't. How about that? Let's hop back up in here. Try to have the plastics off. Just sort of looks like it's going to. All right, there we go. Easy peasy. Let me go back there and finish up editing. And uh, we should be out of here in probably no time. And I'm gonna go back there and close the doors on a trailer and stuff. So uh, we're gonna get that done right now. And uh, I guess uh, head back to uh, Pottsville. I don't know. We'll see where we go after this. Maybe, maybe I got a dispatch, I doubt it. Oh, I also have to call. I forgot I got some shorts on my last load. So I gotta call and do that too. 
got to call them up and uh, get a claims number and all that stuff for that. You know, God forbid I put the paperwork through without a claims number. Uh, they'll be taking that out of my settlement. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's get the doors closed up. Have to find somewhere to get reefer full. It's God forbid I don't take the reefer back while it's full. I'm gonna have a problem with that. I got any returns in there? Nope. Come on, there you go. Oh, well, at least it's a nice day. It's not as cool as it was yesterday, that's for sure. I tell you what, though, a few more weeks, we're gonna start having snow on the ground up here. And then I get to uh, deal with all the accidents and everything on 80 and 81. That should be great. Yeah, half a tank, I gotta get reefer fuel for it. Well, let me, uh, let me go back there. I'm gonna go and uh, do my little report for my re uh, shortage on that last load and uh, call them up. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have really anything exciting to talk about because I don't even know what I'm doing. I guess I gotta get a hold of dispatch too and figure out if I'm gonna be making any money for the rest of the week. So let me go, let me go and start doing that. All right, well, I get to sit here for like 15, 20 minutes and uh, wait for Tyson Claims to pick up so I can uh, give them these shortages on this last load I did over in uh, the Restaurant Depot when I was in Philly yesterday. So, yay, what fun. Uh, I got a, a couple shorts on a load I did yesterday uh, when I was done in the evening, and uh, I guess I just need to report it, so. All right, what's the all right, we got uh, 500-731-132. All right, the first product code was 744-10816. All right, and how many of these were shorted? Uh, 18. Uh, finished up with my claims uh, and everything there for the shorts I had yesterday. And uh, did about another 45 minutes of video editing. Uh, I'm still not done. I, I gotta learn to try to edit these things down to about 40 minute long videos or 30 minute long videos because as of right now if I continue to edit everything the way it is and, and you know even even taking large chunks out of what I filmed I'm still gonna have almost an hour long video of, of everything I did yesterday so I'm gonna have to learn to cut that down because nobody wants to watch an hour long video of me you know delivering and stuff or bullshitting about whatever I don't know uh, anywho I got my load assignment I'm going to Mazapath uh, New York City tomorrow and Garden City I got two stops Restaurant Depot uh, 7 a.m. delivery first one and then 1 p.m. the next one so we're gonna call it quits for right now on uh, this little vlog or the, the this uh, delivery I guess you could say and I'm gonna head back to Pottsville so uh, if you enjoy the content and you like what I'm putting out, um, and you know, if I'm editing good or, or, or whatnot, just, uh, you know, hammer down the like button, put some comments down. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you're new here, uh, every little bit helps the channel out and helps what I'm doing, you know, makes it feel worthwhile. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, I guess that's all that matters. So. Uh, I'll catch you guys later and uh, look forward to the next video. See ya. These are the, uh, I think, the 12 inch inch edge
So real quick, guys, I want to talk about bound business banking, which is linked with a debit card and an actual app right on your phone. It is very simple and easy. It automatically gives you updates right on your phone, like at a moment's notice, as soon as you purchase anything. As you can see right here, it has plenty of reports. Uh, it has your profit and loss, your income, your expense reports, and everything. It also calculates your taxes for you and keeps track of everything you spend and automatically calculates your quarterly estimated taxes through purchases that you made on your Found Business debit card. You can easily forward your transactions and your tax information right from Found Business to your CPA who can easily review the information and get you to your deductions for the year. They can also streamline the process of paying your 1099 contractors and filling out and filing tax forms. So it just makes it easier at the end of the year for you and your CPA to go over this information. In short order, I highly recommend Found Business Banking. It's very simple, easy. It's right there at your fingertips. All your transaction information is right there. Uh, the, the best part about it, in my opinion, is the estimated taxes right there through your transactions. You don't have to keep a shoebox full of receipts or anything. You can also take pictures of them and save them right there to Found Business Banking. If you think you may be interested in Found Business Banking, there's going to be a link in the description down below. Just click on it. It's going to take you right to their website. You can read over everything and get more information for yourself. And uh, eventually I'll try to put a better video out for you. And a big thanks for supporting the channel.